So how is everybody doing today? And welcome back to another 2019 My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K18. Today's video, we're going to be using the New Orleans Pelicans. Very excited to use this team pretty much just for Anthony Davis. Obviously, most likely, I think 9 out of 10 people would say the best big man in the NBA, whether he's playing center, whether he's playing power forward, absolutely will not be going anywhere. Never in a million years would I be trading this man. So... He's going to start out playing center for me, at least, because Julius Randle will be playing power forward. They obviously signed him this offseason from the Lakers. As the Lakers did not want to give him a contract, they moved in a new direction. So Anthony Davis is going to start out this video playing center for us because Randle is on a two-year deal. If it was a one-year deal, I might look to move him just because, of course, this is an unrealistic rebuild. Also, I might tweet, like, a poll. If you guys want me to do realistic rebuilds, just let me know. Like, I've I've done them on, my, like, my own time. I mean, maybe they're not totally realistic, but I try my best to make them as realistic as possible. Pretty much the one thing is not all my moves are realistic. They kind of have to be fair and, like, not really – maybe make sense a little bit, but they have to be, like, fair value most, like, of the time. I'm not going to trade, like – give me a good player on this team. Like, also, the, they signed you local for this morning. Uh, There's just a coincidence at the time. But, yeah, that this rebuild's happening. Uh, if I don't – if I trade Solomon Hill for, like, a first-round pick, that's just not realistic. So I wouldn't be making moves like that, but still I could be making moves, like – I don't know. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but you guys should be able to understand what I am getting at. So if you want to see those, let me know those down below in the comment section. Again, also go check out my Twitter if I do put up a poll. So, Anthony Davis will be our center. Drew Holiday, I like. I think he's a little bit overpaid. If we're, if we're being honest, this whole, I think he got paid in 2017, if I'm correct. That whole 2017 free agency, everybody got paid way too much money because the cap was going up. Oh, it's annoying. Uh, Randall will be here for the first year. I think I'm going to be moving Miritich right now, and then I might be sending a few of these guys to the G League. Tony Carr is overseas. This Bluet guy is overseas as well. Um, check the all as a free agent after this year, so it doesn't really make much sense to send him. Okafor? You know what? Let's send Jalil Okafor to the G League. Oh, he has more than three years. Okay, you know what? We're just going to send... Yeah, we'll send Frank Jackson, I guess. And then is there anybody that's like kind of young here that could that could possibly be a good fit for me to go to the G League? Uh, they would have to be a pretty decent overall. Tyler Eulis, not really. Um, we're kind of getting into, tw like, 23-year-olds. So, 67. Brandon McCoy wants way too much money, and all these guys are honestly... All right, yeah, it's just not really worth it. So, you know, we're going to start off this video by trading Nicole Miritich, who is playing small forward, and he's 6'10". So, who knows? I don't know why this roster has him like that, but I'm not really complaining because we are going to be moving him anyways. So, I would ideally like to get another small forward back. Michael Beasley, not really... Um, Stanley Johnson, except he's a free agent out of this year. If he just wasn't a free agent, that wouldn't be an issue, like, at all. So, how about if I do Miritich and then, um, Etwan Moore is kind of starting for me right now. I could start Ian Clark, though. I wouldn't mind that. How about, how about Miritich? Oh, boy, we don't have our first round pick this year. You know, they do have their first round. Oh, they do not have their pick in 2019 either. It's a protection backup. Okay, I'll see. Somebody, I, maybe they'll have it in 2019. I don't know. This game confuses me sometimes, man. Um, we are going to be moving it for Bogdanovich and some bonus. Karis LeVert does have another year. We're going to be doing this trade. We're going to send both of these guys over to the Nets, and we're going to be moving Karis LeVert to small forward, where he will be starting for us there. So, honestly, I'm kind of fine with this rotation at the moment. We are going to start LeVert over Carroll. Um, I think, honestly, the team is all set. Okafor is going to play 10. We'll go 33 here. We'll go 30. Levert's going to play like 32, 30 here. And we'll just give a 37th to Anthony Davis. So does the team have our 2019 pick, or does this protection backup technically count as our 2019 pick? I'm not sure on that one. Pelicans, Pelicans, Pelicans. Um, Well, the Bulls have it top five protected at the moment, but that obviously 2018 draft already happened. So, I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to get my pick back this year. It's fine. I'll see you guys at the end of season number one, where hopefully this team can do pretty well. So, we finished season number one going 44-38, and 38, which isn't horrible. I mean, it's kind of around where I thought it would be. So, Curry MVP, Doncic, Evans, Drummond, Dunn, and Nick Nurse is the coach of the year. We've had some requests recently to go over these All-NBA teams, the defensive teams, and the rookie teams. So, we will. Uh, Davis makes All-NBA first team. Don't really think we would have any other Pelicans making anything else. D'Angelo Russell, All-NBA third team. Shout out to you. Um, defensive teams, we have nobody. Actually, no, we have Anthony Davis, all defensive second team, and there's no way we have any rookies. So we were seventh in the Western Conference, kind of around where I was expecting. Again, Davis was a monster, led us in scoring and rebounds. Then it was Drew Holiday, Julius Randle, Etwan Moore. So rebounds was Davis and assists was Holiday. So first round of the playoffs, we were taking on the Warriors. I mean, probably going to lose. Can't really complain, though. 
Okay, we win two games. Uh, I will honestly take it. So we are heading into this offseason, and we're going to be making a lot of moves. A lot of I don't think we have a lot of bad contracts, but I think we have a few as the Raptors beat the Timberwolves in seven. So let's head up to staff signing right now. I also never do the draft lottery, and I never will. Alvin Gentry has horrible ratings. I have not signed Mike D'Antoni in a minute, so I'm probably going to be signing him in today's video. We're just clearing house here. Jimmy Lynch, Rod Baker, pretty much the usual suspects. Of course, I have to look for some former players. Pau Gasol actually has really good ratings. He at one point might actually be my head coach, maybe, if I, maybe uh, Mike D'Antoni doesn't do a good job. Um, oh, Dirk was here too. Okay, we're going to take Keith Waters, though. And then we'll take Gary Harris, because I make that same stupid joke every time that it's not the same Gary Harris. So... We get Baker, and we get Gasol and Waters, and our staff very well could be all set for this video. So, we're going to have our first round pick this year. I believe the Bulls have it at the moment. They do. So, I'm going to go ahead and trade for that back. I'm just going to probably turn on Trade Override. It is the 19th pick, which isn't anything special, but of course I want it back. I looked it up. The Pelicans do have their own 2019 first round pick. So, I'm going to do that. Probably make some more trades, and I'll see you guys once all that's done. So, this is how I'm trading for my pick back. I'm killing two birds with one stone, moving Solomon Hill for... Actually, you know what? That's mean. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna kill the cap space of the Bulls because I want my first round pick back. So we are gonna go back down here, and we are going to be turning trade override off. And now we will be moving Solomon Hill because I was just gonna do it. I was just gonna do it honestly, but I'm. I'm I guess I'm just too nice. I guess that's what really what it comes down to. First round pick from Toronto is better than any other pick we were getting offered. I think I'm gonna be moving that first round pick from the Raptors now just because it's gonna have nobody wants a first round pick. Oh, boy, this game makes no sense sometimes. Uh, Bluet is a 75 overall, which I will honestly take. How long is his contract? Uh, okay, it's only one more year after this. So Tony Carr is here as well, I think, now, who is a 76 overall. Each one more will be moved. I'm not paying him $8 million. I just can't fathom that thought. Um, so first-round picks again. We don't have a ton of them. So if I can maybe get two from one team, or bare minimum, give me one. Two from the Timberwolves. Beautiful. 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 Nice. Uh, beautiful. And now I think I want to move Julius Randle. I think I do. If I could possibly package him for a top pick in this year's draft, like Julius Randle, that 19th overall pick, could I maybe move up like top six, top seven? We'll start out high hopes. We'll start out with number five. Okay. Well, I probably could have moved it up a little bit higher, if we're being honest, which kind of sucks. So now I think I'm thinking about moving Drew Holiday. I'm thinking about doing it. And I don't really know what I would want, if we're being honest. Um, not getting any great offers, so I'm going to wait till after the draft. But we do have that fifth overall pick. I will be drafting somebody, and I will see you guys at rookie signing. So the one guy I had in mind to draft was Bull Bull. He went first overall. I don't know. We ended up getting Cameron Reddish, as you can pretty much see right there. Uh, but Carr and Blewett are also going to be signed. So Reddish is a 77. Very well could start at small forward for me next year. Frank Jackson up to a 76. Could be my backup point guard next year. Really just depends how this free agency goes. Check Diallo, sure. I mean, you're not great, but $2 million is very, very tradable. So, we do have some cap space. We do have some cap space. I'm just going to release the cap holds that I don't want. No. Uh, Ian Clark, no. I mean, first of all, we can get this out of the way. Very quickly. So, I'm going to keep the cap hold on Diallo. Same. I guess we'll do that for now. So, we do have some cap space. That That is the number one thing. So, I'm going to throw an offer at Kawhi Leonard. Can never hurt to get Kawhi Leonard. Probably same goes with Kevin Durant. Can't hurt. And then Jimmy Butler, Clay Thompson, and Cousins don't all have a contract. Um, could it be the return of DeMarcus Cousins to New Orleans? Yes, it can. Uh, I'm just going to have to renounce the rights on... We're just going to go Alfred Payton just because I already have another um, backup point guard. So Alfred Payton, or not Alfred Payton, DeMarcus Cousins is back. And... I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of interesting. Um, do we have a mid-level accept? We have Ian Clark. Uh, I'll bring back Ian Clark for a year. Nope. Do not renounce the rights. Please don't accept another offer. That would be really annoying. Ian Clark is back. So that is all set. Let's see where we're at right now. We have... Okay. First of all, what I'm going to do is Anthony Davis is going to go back to power forward. So let's see. We have one, two point guards. I'm still definitely considering trading... Drew Holiday. We have really no starting shooting guard, which is kind of an issue. We also have... Levert here, Davis, Cousins, and Okafor. So I need a shooting guard. Do I have a mid-level exception of, like, some... Okay, how do I check my mid-level? I can just go here. Five million dollars. Hmm. I don't really know what that could get me. Pat Beverly wants 12 mil. That's just so unfortunate. 
$5 million, not Rodney Hood. I need somebody who has the most trade value here. Like, it honestly could be DeLon Wright. And if he wants to come here, never mind. Like, so annoying. Uh, Alec Burks. You know what? I'm going to do a sign and trade with Alec Burks, I guess, because I really don't want him starting at shooting guard for me this year, for being honest. So I might move him and Levert. So Burks, Levert, and a, my first round pick. I need some sort of shooting guard. If I don't get anything offered good, or any good offered anything offered good, I'm going to be looking um, pretty much just at players that I could trade for. So, yeah, no, this is this is just gross. So let's go player finder, point guard slash shooting guard. Oh, boy, this is not going to be easy. This is not going to be easy. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've gotten the Donovan Mitchell for Karis LeVert and Alec Burks. And what's wrong with this? A million more? Jesus, you have, like, nobody here. Amir Coffey, ugh. It's just gonna have to be a ton of first round picks. If they can, if there's somehow they could do this, probably not gonna be happening though. Unless I give you just another first round pick here, yeah. Donovan Mitchell is very hard to trade for, but it's obviously very understandable why he's so hard to trade for. So Lou will no idea. This this like hurts honestly. There's like nobody here. Jalen Brown might not be a bad option for Karis Levert and Alec Burks for Jalen Brown, and I, you can have all these first round picks. This first as well. And they agree to that. Okay, so Jalen Brown's at least a good filler. At the minimum, he will be a good filler for this team who can start shooting guards. So Drew Holiday, I do want somebody else. I mean, an 86 isn't bad. Trading is still broken. An 86 isn't that bad, honestly. But still, I feel like he's just making too much money for what he really gives in production. Uh, and I'm, the thing is, there, he's like to like a middle spot where you really can't get much better. But you can definitely get worse. I think I'm going to have to give him one more year think that's what it's going to have to come down to so i think the team is really all set actually no we need some backup big men actually do we have backup big men or am i just like totally losing it at this point um oga four i guess can be a backup center and we don't really have a backup power forward but it's fine nine men or nine guys playing Oh, man, pretty interesting. I'll see you guys at the start of season number two with how this team's looking. So this is going to be the rotation for season number two. It's going to be Drew Holiday, Jalen Brown, Cameron Reddish, Anthony Davis, and Demarcus Cousins. Off the bench, Ian Clark, Czech Diallo, Troy Williams. Is that Troy Williams? Yep, it's Tony Carr. And Jalil Okafor. I'm not a huge fan of this rotation at the moment. What in the world? Okay. So is he here for the next couple years? Because it says no, no money in 2019, but we have a $0 team option on him in 2020 and 2021. I don't know. I'm still going to send him to the G League. Honestly, it could, it could end up working out. Sign a G League. Maybe we'll have... Okay, so maybe we do have him. I don't even know. This team hopefully will be good. It's definitely improved from last year. And I will see you guys at the end of season number two. So a little bit of a better season this year as we go 58-24. and 24. Uh, Harden MVP, Barrett Rookie of the Year. Randall ends up winning six man, but still. I, I think we had to move on. And Frank Vogel is the new coach of the Rockets. And he does win Coach of the Year. So we will see if we have any Pelicans on these All-NBA teams. We do have Anthony Davis. Um, we have no... Okay, we have Davis here. I, this is why I hate it. It's so hard to see. And we do have Cameron Reddish on the all-rookie first team. So standings, we were third in the West. I'll take. Stats-wise, it was Cousins, then Davis. Reddish was pretty good. 17 points, like I'll take that. Drew Holiday just... Like, it's not bad. 15 and 9 isn't horrible, but still, I just... I want somebody else. I really do. Uh, first round, we're taking on the Phoenix Suns, who are in the... Pre <laughs> Playoffs a little bit earlier than expected, and we end up losing. Fuck this. Oh, my God. We were up 3-1-2. Oh, wow. Okay, so, in the okay, you know what? We lost the NBA Finals champions. I don't know how the Suns win the Finals. It just makes no sense to me sometimes, but whatever happens, happens. Let's head up to the NBA draft right now. I don't think we're going to have any picks in this year's draft. We might have, like, a late pick. We have end up having none. So, this Bluet guy is up to a 79 yeah, no, 70. Wait, no, that's an 81. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at math. So he will be my backup shooting guard next year. So I think that lets me go ahead and trade Ian Clark, most likely. And two first round picks, I'm pretty much going to take that nine times out of 10. So that is perfect. Loading up on draft picks, maybe make a big trade with Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday, two first round picks. What can this get me? Steven Adams, Kevin Love. And give me the first overall pick, which could get me James Wiseman, which, you know what? That could be fun. That could, that you know what? That could be an option. Blake and what pick? Blake and pick nine. That is also a good trade. Wiggins, McCollum. You know what? We're gonna take Blake and pick nine, because I can definitely trade pick nine to get up a little bit higher, 
And then Blake, I can still trade for a point guard. So let's go propose trade. Pick nine, and you can take pretty much all the picks I have left. Like, you know, we're going to cap it out here. And I want to move up to pick one. Because I get this pick one, and I will give you. Who do I still have under contract at the moment? And I will give you Tony Carr, who actually has some really, really good value. And they agree to that. So we end up getting the first overall pick still, which is going to get me, um, what's his name? James Wiseman. So now Blake and the two first round picks I have remaining. Could I get a point guard? Goran Dragic, not really. D'Angelo Russell, I mean, i kind of been getting him a lot recently. Paul George, uh, I got him in yesterday's video though. All right. Let's go. Player finder. We're going to go point guard. Kemba. Did I get Kemba? Yes, I got Kemba in yesterday's video. Lowry, Russell, Mike Conley. Damn. Okay. Um, I'm going to wait. Actually, you know what? I want Dennis Smith Jr. That's who I want. So I'm going to actually wait until after I'll, after people sign the contract. So I'll probably do this at the start of next season. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to probably draft somebody first overall unless I can make like a big trade for like Blake and pick one. If I can get anything for Blake and pick one, that's really, really... Kemba and pick three. Aldridge and pick two. Bradley Beal and Isuf Sanan. Um, that's kind of nice, but you know what? I'm still going to draft Wiseman first overall, and I'll see you guys at rookie signings. So as I said, I did end up drafting James Wiseman number one overall. He's the highest rated rookie as a 78. So he will, at bare minimum, be probably my sixth or seventh man. I know free agency this year is pretty much always so gross. Jalen Brown is also a free agent, which always sucks. So we need to bring him back, obviously. He's going to, yeah, he already has an offer from the Hornets, which he's going to probably accept. So uh, I'm pretty much just going to renounce the rights on all these guys. These guys can go, and I'm going to wait for Brown to accept that offer, and I'm going to match it. So he's going to match it. Okay, and I'm just going to match this deal. It's a lot of money, so I end up also, uh, geez, I just can't speak in today's video. I really, really can't. So I ultimately could end up just, geez, why is Blake always just lit up? I could end up moving Jalen Brown. And just seeing what I could get. I mean, there are definitely some better offers out there. Trading is still broken, of course. Jalen Brown, I'm trading you alone. I don't no, I no longer have that first overall pick. So he's three and a half star value. And see, there's like nothing better. I, I mean, Malcolm Brogdon, maybe. Like, what were his stats? 14 points. Like, oh, I just don't know. I just don't know. CJ McCollum. All right. I might, you know what? Yeah, we're going to be taking CJ. CJ McCollum, I want that scoring as my shooting guard. So CJ McCollum is now on this team, A plus three point shooting. Can never complain about that. So has Dennis Smith Jr. signed a contract yet? Because if he has, I definitely could be trading for him. He has, it looks like. So let's see if I can put up Blake Griffin. If I don't get offered him, I'm probably just going to make a manual trade. I can get Draymond, Wiggins, Levine, Whiteside. Okay. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of better offers at this point. And I'm not getting offered Dennis Smith Jr. So player finder point guard DSJ. Oh, oh, he had a team option. Are you kidding me? Oh, that sucks. That sucks. There goes that thought. Trey Young, anyway, for Blake Griffin. Consider him untouchable. Oh, it's not gonna happen. I don't even know why I'm why am I doing this? It's never gonna happen. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Not in a million years. I honestly have no idea who I want to trade him for. I have not a clue. Kyrie is not going to happen. Paul Lillard. I might have to go Kemba in back to back videos. I'm not going to pick up Kyle Lowry. Mike Connolly, not really. You know what? I might go D -Lo. I know I've been kind of getting him a decent amount, but honestly, who else am I going to get? Like, who else am I going to pick up? There's really nobody left for me even to get. So, Russell, McCullum, Bluet. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm probably going to trade Fareed right now for a different center because I would like a different center other than Fareed. For, you know what, I'm just going to pick up two first-round picks. Did I get offered two first-round picks from anybody? Not really. Uh, I'm just going to take this pick from the Cavs first and the second. So I'm going to sign a center and a point guard right now. Oh, that's kind of annoying. I really thought he was up. I really thought his contract was up. Jeff Teague. Jeff Teague's not a horrible option. Jeff Teague, welcome to the team. And now centers could go Plumley. Uh, he's not going to accept this, is he? Actually, no, I think they like shorter deals. Plumley, you want to accept this deal? Nope, he goes to the Pacers. Okay. Um, What do I want to do? Mike Muscala, if I get you, I'm going to be trading you immediately because you are not very good anymore, for being honest. Mike Muscala is here now. And so can I possibly move him for a better center? For how about him and two second-round picks? Any better centers here? Anybody? 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 Literally, give me somebody. Tyson Chandler, you're way too old. 
All right, it's time to go center hunting. Um, let's go Wendell Carter. You know what? Wendell Carter Jr. It's kind of been a minute too. For Mike Muska, that's never going to happen. Um, they got to be making like literally negative money. Could go. Um, come on. Give me somebody. Somebody has to be making like $2 million. Aaron Baines, I guess. For Mike. No, this is so fucking stupid. It's unbelievable. Bull Bull. How much? Okay, he's three stars. Um, Tice. For Muscal, like at least Tice is a little bit younger. And this, you know what? Fuck it. I'll keep him. I'll see you guys at the start of next year. This rebuild has really been pissing me off. I don't really know why. It would be stupid not to take this trade. Cameron Reddish, two first, and Jeff Teague for Jason Tatum and Charles Bassey. Oh my God! I don't think I've really ever traded for Jason Tatum. Not, not that I can really remember. Small forward. He goes up to a 94 overall. Oh my God. This is such a cheat code. It's unbelievable. I love it, though. I love it so much. And now I'm liking this team a whole lot more. Um, I might move Bassey now, who might have some good value. He really hasn't played at all. Actually, you know what? How tall is he? 6'10". Wiseman's seven foot. Does Wiseman's overall change at center? Uh, he goes down to a 77. You know what? We'll just move him to center. It doesn't really matter to me. So Mike Muscala... Actually, no, Mike Muscala is going to get... Actually, do I have a backup point guard off the bench already? I do not. So, Mike Muscala will now be traded for a point guard. Mike Muscala. Training, of course, is broken. Why wouldn't it be? I, I cannot believe I traded for Jason Tatum. Mike Muscala for some sort of point guard. I don't really think I've ever done that. Um, There's not one point guard I'm getting offered. Like, are you kidding me? Like, just the one... Like, I feel like every time I need a position and I try to trade somebody, I don't get offered the position I need, which is just so annoying point guard not making more than like two million dollars um landry you know what just give me landry shamit for mike muscala 76ers would acquire too much money give me this guy and oh my god just give take darius miller i hate this game so much sometimes give me dante divincenzo not for wiseman for mike muscala take all these second round picks if this doesn't go through i'm gonna be pretty pissed 2K is just, I hate this. I like, just what, he's a, he's not even getting any money. Oh, he was on our team. Okay. Aaron Holiday is probably not going to happen. Brandon Knight's a free agent. Please take, why? Why? Please, you have, you can have some playing time. Eli, Eli Okubo or Ellie, whatever it is for Buscala. Nope, not going to happen. Isuf Sanon, Sanon, whatever it is from Mike. This is never gonna happen. These trades are so annoying. Corey Joseph, please, for Mike Muscala. Why? Just how much is Mike Muscala? He's literally making two million dollars. Okay, two point eight mil. Just Emmanuel Mudiay is also a free agent. Just it's so unrealistic. You're never gonna get that much money. Jerry and Grant. Minimum. Two years. Player option. Just. Damn it. Oh, my God. This game pisses me off. Monte Morris, like, literally at this point. Not for James Wiseman. I'm so stupid. I keep doing it. Not for Charles Bassey. For Mike Muscala. I'm done. I don't care. I don't need a fucking backup point guard. Jesus Christ alive. Mike Muscala, you suck. You're not playing. Bluette's going to play. Nawaba can play a little bit. He can play 10 minutes. Uh, we're going to go 35 here. We're going to go 35 here. We'll go 35 here as well. And then Bassey can play... Oh, no, I want Wiseman as my sixth man. Uh, you're going to play 20. You'll play 19, and Blue can play 13. This rebuild is seriously pissing me off, but at least the team's a god squad. Third and final year, D'Angelo Russell, CJ McCollum, Jason Tatum, Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins, James Wiseman, Charles Bassey, Trevon Blewett, David Nwaba. I will see you guys at the end of the third and final season. We better be winning a championship. This has got to be our year. 66-16. and 16. I'm ready to win. Nasir Little, Rookie of the Year, Tobias Harris. I, Mike D'Antoni, Coach of the Year. I do care about that. That is all I care about. We are first. We got to be winning. We got to be winning. Russell, McCollum, Davis, Cousins, Tatum. This team was sick. Rebounds was Davis and assists was Russell. We had to actually, I want to check out st uh, scoring. We had to score the most, most points per game. We did. We had a very good defense and four points made us the best differential. Come on. Thunder in the first round is not an easy matchup in the slightest. At no. Odd. I tried to back out. It didn't let me. And we are facing, like, this is why I hate the Western Conference so much. Because you have to face every good team. Don't let, oh my, why? Who goes, what team goes to seven games in the first two rounds as a one seed? 
Come on, please let me win. Good, thank God. We won. Now we face the easiest team. We face the Kings. Like, just it's just kind of annoying sometimes, but it's all good. I mean, this team is very, very deep, but I still think we're going to be better. Sweep, sweep, thank you. No, oh my God, I thought they were going to make a comeback. We're taking on the Knicks in the NBA Finals. Let's check out their team. Uh, they are pretty good, but we are way better. We win game one. We win game two. We win game three. We're going to hop in, unless it's like a blowout either way, and get some gameplay. Um, you know what? This is going to be a good game to hop into. We're going to hop in this game, try to close out a championship. I'll see you guys in there. Okay, so I want to make sure we do have these starters in. Please tell me nobody's fouled out. Of course, the best player on our team is fouled out. Wiseman will be in over Bassey. I want that. And we are on Hall of Fame, if it does matter to you. So, let's see. We do have the ball, which is good. D'Angelo Russell looks weird as hell hell without any sleeves. We're just going to be running a smart play over to McCollum. Uh, is that an ISO they want? It is an ISO. Just going to drive by and foul. Okay, that looks a huh, little bit sus, but it ends up being a foul. So, we're going to get two shots at the free throw line. McCollum is a pretty good free throw shooter, and he hits the first. He has 16 points. We're going to get Wiseman in. Come on. And he hits the second. So we're all tied at 102. We're also up 3-0, so if we lose, this won't be the end of the world. So I know normally I would talk about the team's future, but I really don't have time for that. I'm kind of focused on the game right now. Come on. I cannot play user defense. I'm so bad. Wiseman on Porzingis. Come on. Come on. Jason Tatum on Kevin Knox. Come on. Come on. Get the... Nope. What are they doing? Oh, come on. That's such BS. McCollum the foul was on. Are you kidding me? Oh, God, Kevin Knox is going to be shooting some free throws. He's got 24. He's an animal in this game, at least. Like, I know he looked really, really good in the summer league, but in this game, he progresses so well. Who knows if he'll do that well in real life, but still, he looks very, very good. So they're going to take a two-point lead with two minutes left to go. You know what I'm going to do, honestly? I'm just going to go run the ISO right here. If they could just clear out, I want an ISO. Boogie, do you know what an ISO is? Frank Nielkin is a very, very good defender, but D'Angelo Russell up for the easy layup. Okay, I'm just going to keep abusing that. Might do it with um, maybe Tatum next on Knox. Okay, I need to play some good defense right now. I'm not very good at this game, as most of you probably know. Porzingis can shoot. I don't really know what Wiseman's doing out here. Wiseman is seven foot. And next to Porzingis, he looks like a shooting guard. That's unbelievable. God. No words. No, no words. Very, very annoying, but no words. All right. Give Tatum the ball. I want an ISO out here. Give me the ISO. And we're just going to drive on Knox. Tatum up for the... Oh, that should have been an N1. He got hit. Are you kidding me? That's an N1. He got hit right on the arm as he was laying it up. That's unbelievably BS. No, no, no. What are you doing? What are you... Oh, my God. He missed. Okay. Push it up to Tatum. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Give me that ISO. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's not a foul? Okay. Well, it I, it's broke now, so I'm going to be fixing that. I think have TJ McConnell in right now. Come on. Move, Boogie. Stop being lazy. Oh, my God. Tatum on Knox. Jesus Christ. He's going to blow by me. I can just see it happening already. Come on. Get good defense. That's... Okay. He blocked. I was like, what in the world? Okay. Come on. Come on. They have 4.7 seconds remaining on the shot clock. That was pretty good defense from myself, if I do say so. We just can't let any cheese happen. No, 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 no. no. That's good defense. Thank you, Boogie. Drag that board. Tatum, push it. Push it, push it, push it. Kick it back. Oh, my God. Did he just get his shit stuffed in Knox? He's going to fucking slam it home. Come on. Boogie, you have Boogie wide open. Look! Thank you. That should have been a foul, too. Jesus, come on. They have a minute to go. Come on. I'm not playing user defense. I can't do it. Come on. We got to clutch it out here. No, don't. Get this. Oh, my. Oh my. Get a rebound. There's two seven-footers right there. Get a pick. Just do something. Thank you, D'Angelo Russell. Jesus. Just do something. Okay. I want D'Angelo Russell to have the ball. I want the smart play happening. They want ISO again. They want oh, they want it to Cousins. Oh, my. What? Why are you standing out of bounds? Oh, my God. I'm going to rip some. 
Why? Jason Tatum, I love you, but why would you stand out of bounds? When, oh my god. Like, just that might have been the stupidest thing you can do. This game is so frustrating, and I'm so mad right now. I didn't play great, but I didn't do that. I, I did not blow it that much. Unbelievable. We still win a finals as D'Angelo Russell's the finals MVP, but that was just some frustrating gameplay. I'll show you that because I played pretty well. Oh, brother, that was uh, that was tough. But hopefully you guys still enjoyed that. I mean, we kind of had a god squad here. It was a, Not a god squad, but it was a very, very solid starting five. I still can't believe I was able to trade for Jason Tatum. But still, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. The next 2019 rebuild will be the Pistons, which is one of the most annoying teams to rebuild. So same with the Pelicans, honestly. But at least they have two, a star. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Any other video ideas? Leave them down below in the comment section. If you guys can make sure to subscribe. Again, let me know that realistic rebuild thing. If you want to see them, I would be happy to start doing them. Maybe a few. Uh, probably after the fantasy rebuilds are, are over. I might, probably, yeah. might just start at the beginning again. Of course, also go make sure to vote on my Twitter. Hit me up with that follow as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.